On today's video, I'm going to check out this OptiSolex Solar Bag 400 Watt Folding Solar Panel. Let's get right into it. So I've got the panel laid out now. You can see basically it's two 200 watt panels put together divided down the middle. So you can configure it as a 200 watt panel or put them both together as a 400 watt panel. So I flip the panel over so you can see the junction boxes on the back. This is the main junction box right here. You can see the zipper down the middle where you can divide it into the 200 watt panels. That's the junction box off the other set of panels. So to get the full 400 watts, you have to join both sets together. Both of the panels that are joined together have their own USB charging capabilities too at their junction box. But if you join them both together in series, you can see right here, it'd be 42 volts open circuit and then 36 volts at max power. But if you split them into the 200 watt or 220 as they're claiming right here, it'd be 18 volt panels. And then one thing right off the bat, you know, notice on the back, there's no, no type of kickstand or no type of any way to hold this up. You know, it's got little clips and it's got little carabiner style clips in the bag, but getting it to self support besides laying it flat proves difficult which would be fine in the summertime you could lay it flat on the grass or on the ground or whatever but in winter time you know you want a steeper angle that's proven difficult so i guess that's the way i'm going to do it right there i'm going to lean it up against another 400 watt folding panel to support it and hopefully we'll get some good numbers off of it so it's about 35 degrees there's not any sun on the panel yet a little bit's gotten on the bottom you can see it's starting to you know melt if you will where the panels are heating up on the bottom i doubt it will self-support i'm going to try to figure out something to make the panel stay upright so we can get some readings on it so i use the included carry straps you can see them right there on either side to one of the panel supports to keep it from collapsing near the ground now if that other panel or support was not behind it it had been collapsed already so if you're putting it up in a winter orientation or anything besides flat you're going to have some kind of backing behind it to keep it you know flat you can see the tops flopping back now so i'm waiting for the sun to come out behind the tree that's blocking it right now and uh, we'll see if as it heats up if that top just flops back and continues to you know soften and flex and uh, just see what happens so while the panel is partially shaded i'm gonna get some readings off of it with some shade on it before the sun comes back on it Yeah, as soon as it started warming back up with the sun, the top just flopped back right there over the center of the top row of panels right there. So I put some sticks behind it to try to keep it propped up. All right, the shading's gone, but now I got some clouds, so I have to wait for the clouds to move. I'll go ahead and show you how big the panel is while I'm waiting for the cloud to move. So roughly 66 inches wide and roughly 62 inches tall if I was to straighten it out and take that little bit of sag out of it. So 66 by 62. So a little bit of an oddball size, which, you know, if we split it down the middle right there, you know, the two 220 watt rated ones would be a little easier to find some kind of lumber or something to mount them on. But it'd been nice to see something around 40 or 42 by 96 or something. So you could use a sheet of plywood to support this thing on. See, they're starting to bow from the heat from the sun. Outdoor temperature right now is 45 degrees. So let's see what kind of power it's making. And this is at solar noon, by the way. So 263 watts at solar noon, 45 degree ambient temperatures. All right, do a back-to-back -back comparison off this 400 watt foam panel. I'm gonna let it heat up for 15 or 20 minutes. Shouldn't take it long and see what it makes. So a few watts difference between that panel and that panel. So rated at 400 watts, rated at you know, solar bag 400, but the test conditions, test date on the back indicates 440. Just giving you a direct back-to-back -back comparison between some different folders. And of course, the OptiSolex, you can unzip it and separate into two panels. So there is a benefit to that. If you're wanting to do two different power stations or something like that, or charge a 12 volt battery, charge a power station, you can split it up. It doesn't have to go to one use just like that one is. This panel weighs less than 18 pounds, so quite a bit lighter than some on the market. So there is a benefit to that, even though it won't self-support, it is very lightweight. But you've got the different carabiner style clips right here, so you can hang it vertically, 
or lay it out horizontally so any other position is kind of difficult unless you got something to to hang it off of so you either got you know winter power coming in if you hang it vertically or you lay it flat for summer power so in the shoulder seasons eh, your results may vary and both sections of the panel do have usb and usb-c ports so that's a benefit to those of you charging mobile devices things like that and of course to use the panel at 400 watts you either have to series them together or you have to get some branch connectors and parallel them together depending on your use case scenario i'm going to call this the main panel because this is where the instruction manual the straps and stuff are it's got the bigger bag it's got a fairly decent lead length on it and i'll call this the secondary panel because it's got the smaller bag over the junction box they even put a decent lead length on this one right here so you can connect to portable power stations things like that so yeah, i do have to call that a benefit this panel where you can separate it into two separate panels for dual charging on multiple devices that is a neat feature and at time of filming the solar bag 400 is roughly a dollar per watt so middle of the road price range it's not really super expensive per watt not really cheap it's kind of just middle of the road price point range but you know it is lighter weight than others on the market so you have to weigh that in do you want a lightweight panel that you know doesn't self-support you want a little bit heavier panel some of them are about twice the weight that'll kind of self-support so I'm trying to give you the pros and cons for this panel and one thing i can say too that the company is transparent about the ratings on these panels you can go on their website and they have all kinds of literature showing different latitudes different times of the year different solar radiance charts to see what kind of power you're going to get out of this panel now, they're not blatantly saying that you're going to get 400 440 watts everywhere all the time so they are being fairly honest compared to a lot of other manufacturers so you can check out their website look at all the data charts you know to see you know at a good estimate of what the panel should make at the time of the year that you're using it and the numbers i'm getting off of the panel this time of year at my latitude is fairly close to what their estimate is And another thing the company's offering, you can get the solar bag itself, just the panel, standalone. Or you can buy a solar bag kit that comes with a standalone charge controller, auto detecting 12 or 24 volt batteries to go with this panel. So you can use it for RV applications, comes with wire and everything. All this will be on the next video. This is getting a dedicated video of its own because this is looking pretty good on paper. So I'm going to put it to the test in the upcoming video. So if you're interested in looking further into Optic Solex or this solar bag, I'll have a convenient link in the video description down below so you can easily find it and check it out. And as always, if you own any Optic Solex products, please let me and everybody else know in the comments section if they're treating you well, working well for you. I always like to know and everybody else does too. Hope you enjoyed the video today. As always, thank you for watching. Y'all take care. Be safe. I'll see you on the next one. Special thanks to Optic Solex for providing this field testing sample for me to evaluate.